Welcome to a 1v1 game, Age of Empires 4. We have two players you might know. In the blue, we have Nilly. And then in the red, we have the Viper, uh, who well, may be a little upset he doesn't have his yellow, <laughs> Kappa. Um, I'm going to pause real quick because this is a new game. And I would like to make sure that you guys are aware of what is happening and you guys are aware of what we're casting. And, and I need to learn. I almost quit the game. So uh, the problem is I, I actually am completely unsure on what the flags are right now. Forgive me, but I believe Viper Civ is this. Yes. Uh, actually, no. This is, I think that's Nilly Civ, correct? Are they, wait, are, is there possible they're the same civilization right now? Spectating has been very, very tricky for me. But I believe Nilly civilization is as follows. We'll go to the tech tree. Unless that is somehow just alphabetical and we're screwed. Um, I thought I saw one of them was this civilization they have the same flag though so let's just yeah okay i think they are both this civilization and we saw this civilization a little earlier but i've got to learn okay so it's a mirror matchup they have the same bonuses which can actually be quite nice to see what is the way to go now we're not going to read all this stuff this is cute and, and, and cuddly but we're going to go to civilization bonuses and uh so so for the first civilization bonus they gather the berry bushes 25 percent faster but cannot gather boar Infantry units are able to construct rams and siege towers without researching siege engineers, which is out of the blacksmith. Advance in ages by building wings from the House of Wisdom. We're going to be very wise people. This is going to be cool. We'll talk about that. Enter a golden age to speed up research gather rate, research times, and production speed, and then docks are 50% cheaper. But those are the big things with this civilization. Uh, we're not going to get into things such as tech tree. We're just going to go based on like how they want to build up. But remember... In Age of Empires 4, as I think Nilly needs to make a house. Is Nilly gonna make a house now? I think Nilly's about to get pop capped. But um in Age of Empires 4, it is very important that is he making a house right now? I'm really confused. That uh you remember that it takes different resources to go up to the next age. And you do not age up through your town center. So you've got advanced to feudal age, build a wing. From the House of Wisdom. This is completely different than the other civs in Age 4. Uh, the Abbasi just, just play out differently. Here you've got Nilly with a nice little back dock. A fish. That's smart. Seems like this is a no-brainer here. And so he has gone to wood so he can get food for... Or wood for fishing ships and then get food that way. You have the Viper doing the same thing on the other side right now. Now, if you're wondering what the gold little boxes are... It's a little silly, but it actually shows you who's leading in each resource. So, sorry for all the little blips there. But the House of Wisdom is something they should have to build. I should see their options here. Uh, you've got Madrasa, House of Wisdom. Sorry, again, this is like the second time I've ever seen this Civ, so I'm trying to figure this out. What's cool about this Civ is, is that you can utilize that House of Wisdom in completely different ways. But again, remember, build a wing from the House of Wisdom which we have to do to go up to the next age. All right, here you go. You've got a house here for the Viper, just trying to get his pop-up. And it looks like there's an engagement. Oh, Viper's stealing sheep right now. You little lamer, Viper. <laughs> the sheep always follow you in Age of Empires 4. So I don't know if there's any way for Nilly to get the sheep back. Is Nilly trying to kill the sheep? <laughs> I've actually never seen this yet. It seems like they have the exact same speed, though. It feels like this is a mistake for Nilly. He's trying to catch it. I unfortunately have no follow commands in Age of Empires 4. I hope that'll add be added at some point. If I can't follow this, I have to, like, pan across, but... Nilly's like, give me my sheep back! Those are my sheep! And all the sheep were following Viper. That was such a long-distance sheep lore there. I think Nilly is gonna have to give up, and yeah, he just gives up. Jeez, well, good stuff for Viper. Does Nilly not have sheep? No, he's got sheep. And he actually made another scout right now. So you could do that, which I quite like, actually. You can make another scout from your town center in Age of Empires 4. Okay, there is the House of Wisdom. And as far as I know, this number here is an indicator of, like, how... I don't want to say how wise it is. You, There's probably another way to say it. That's an indicator of your progress within the building. Remember, this is specific to the Abbasid. Uh, Viper, I think, has a better build order so far. He's got more food. He's got more gold. 
Uh, if I check Nilly's pop real quick, Nilly's population. I guess not too bad. But I think he was very late to gold here. Hold on, let me... Okay, so Nilly... Bear with me, guys. Uh, he is now... Okay, that's the House of Wind Wisdom. I got them confused. I'm so sorry. But you can construct a wing here. An economic wing. The following economic technology. Okay, let's pause. Let's pause. Let's pause. Wait, can we pause? We can pause. Okay, let's learn. House of Wisdom. Options. First economic wing is the following economic technologies become available. Fresh foodstuffs. Is that actually the name? Fresh foodstuffs? <laughs> Sounds like something I would say. Oh, uh, I forgot the name of the technology. It's just called fry, uh, fresh foodstuffs. Wow, they really, they don't have a high budget for naming. Uh, agriculture in Castle Age and then improved processing, which is Imperial Age. That's fine. Um, you've got other options as well. So you have an economic wing. You have a military wing. You've got a culture wing. You've got a trade wing. And so, if you're playing the Civ, you're pretty much all about the researches out of the House of Wisdom. You've got camel handling in there. You've got composite bows. You've got different techs. But yeah, anyways, uh, that's that's going to be the key here. And remember, to advance to feudal, you have to build a wing from the House of Wisdom. You know, is it a mistake from Nilly to have... Like, if the wing is an extension to the original building... Is it a mistake for him to have so much stuff around this? Not sure about that. So I'm trying to figure out what that plus is there. That's new to me. Anyways, I think we're going to see some researches here. Uh, you can see that Viper is researching Economic Wing, which I think will probably be the meta. Invest into the Eco first. And then that will immediately put him in the next stage, where he could decide to rush if he wanted. Nilly's got a dock going up over here towards the center area. And holy, holy elevation. I didn't actually see that. Nilly's got another dock. So wait a second. What about Viper? Is this map just not unfair? I guess Viper's got to come over to the same area. But Nilly now on 27 pop. Viper at 27 pop. So Nilly caught up because of that. And Nilly with the great awareness. And we've got the villagers fighting here. And Viper can't... Wow, that was very loud. <laughs> She's slicing so slowly here. What the? Little kick? Hello? Little slice? Okay, here comes the scout. This is very dramatic. You literally just got to hit the guy in the back of the head. And Viper completes the dock. What in the? And I don't know, did the villager die there? That was a little cheesy. Okay, anyways, so now the villager's going to try and like burn down the dock. Viper's in the next age. Nilly is uh, on the way. And I would assume Viper's going to make some ships over here. That was very, very cheesy. <laughs> what we just witnessed. And Viper's now going to make some stables. He's all about that life. And I'm curious to see the options within the stable when that's completed. I really wish there was ways to see. Like right now he's getting double broadaxe. When casting there's no ways to know that stuff. Like, it does not tell you. It doesn't say so-and-so has researched that eco-technology. And so as a caster, this really hurts, man. Because I feel like those are really important things to look at. But I think in general, you're going to see those techs researched if they're relatively cheap. So just keep that in mind. But we just have to... I guess I have to pay a close eye on that. And here comes Viper with his Dow. And Nilly's... It was never really going to have a chance of taking this out. And now the villager goes down. She's... She's dead. She's sad. Nilly's fishing ships are going to sail over here. This makes sense for him. I like this. And then he's going to have two docks to be able to make his own navy. And a Dow is 180 wood, 90 gold. So this is a pretty competitive game so far. Um, because Viper's only got one dock. He doesn't even have any fish to protect. Nilly's fishing ships are actually working. There's the barracks for Nilly. He's not producing out of it just yet. Um, and so I think he's going to. He's now producing spearmen. Now, did he... Let's go to his Fog of War. Did he scout to see... Okay, he can see what Viper's making some different units now. I think he kind of has an idea. Because this is a scout. What Viper has is a horseman that can be produced out of the stable. I think he knows now that Viper's up to no good. I have to say, 
the mirror matchup thing is really nice for learning because it, it, they have the same options available. Within the dock, you can make, uh, you know, there's other things available here, but they're, things in ships are pretty expensive. You've got here 460 HP versus 440 HP, nearly realizing that and falling back. And Viper's going to look to use his mobility a little bit. Now, let's talk about the Castle Age, guys. And also, let's talk about the, the wings. Not sure if I'm seeing any additional researches from the wings. This is... Uh, oh, yes! Okay! Okay, so... Okay, I, hold on. I need to I need to pause real quick. Okay, pause, 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 pause. Okay. So, the, the number on top of the... Uh, um, shoot, what is this called? The House of Wisdom. The number on top of the House of Wisdom is the tier it's at, okay? And and you can see, I'm going to go right back in to show you the tiers. And so it, it's based on how many structures you have. And structures built within the House of Wisdom influence the area, help progress to the Golden Age. So basically, with 10 structures, which Viper's at 8 right now, his villager gathering rate will be 10% higher for all resources. And Nilly is currently at 6. So Viper is ahead with that. And it also feels to me like, like Nilly is playing a little bit more defensive right now. Like he's defending on water. And he's also uh, defending on land. So, yeah, this is just a really bad fight for Nilly. There's no other way to say it. All of his army goes down. Seems like ships are really strong versus land units. The Viper's horsemen here is to distract a little bit. And that's smart thinking for Viper. But I have to say, these ships do very little damage against each other. And they also heal. Wait, what? They heal? Increased maneuverability and speed benefits from blacksmith upgrades. But they heal? Do all... Do all... Okay, someone just said the docks heal it. Oh, interesting. So is Viper just going to pull this back to the dock to heal up then? I don't like that personally. But then again, I hated the repair meta in Age of Empires 2 as Viper's tossing away some army. Huh. Yeah, I guess he's just going to fall back. Yeah, okay. So this little uh, this little cross, that shows you when things are being healed. That that applies to the same... Uh, applies to monks as well. Okay, so Viper is now... Uh, he's in a good spot here. He's at 13 out of 30 to get to tier 2, which will give him better resource income. Nilly, still on tier 0. And he's at 8 out of 10 right now. Total population for Nilly is 55. And the total population for the Viper is 54. That's fascinating. 40 economic, 11 military against... 37 economic, 14 military. Okay, so Nilly's got more military now, but less eco. Seems like Viper fished a little bit more back here, by the way. He's got five fishing ships, so that could make the difference. Hmm. Okay, next thing I want to talk about is getting to the, the Castle Age. So it's build a wing from the Wiz House of Wisdom. Okay, so it's the same thing. And I guess these wings are fairly pricey. Military wing is 1,200 food, 600 gold. Same with culture wing, same with trade wing. So yeah, um, those wings have to be built. And yeah, Nilly committing heavily to water here. And Viper, I think, happy to just see that. Like, I, again, I'm new to AOE4, right? I, I just can't believe the fact that they're fighting next to each other all the time. Viper's using the the uh... oh Viper's ship is on flame on fire excuse me, but the fact that you just fall back to your dock and heal up is a little silly to me. Hey, dock, I guess you're not going to see dock v dock fighting too frequently, but is this not the most ridiculous thing you've ever seen? Like Viper is healing. Well, I guess he's not healing as fast as damage is being done. Numbers do matter here. Here come the horsemen. Nilly having some issues with that ship. Okay. Viper trying to pull this one back, and this is where all their focus is right now. And Viper also trying to take out the dock, which is interesting. And he's going to probably pull this ship back so he can heal again. He might still lose it, though. And here comes Nilly with the spearman, and he's like, get away from my dock! Get away from my dock! I'm going to point you, poke you with my pointy sticks. Poke, 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 and now Nilly's like, that's a good idea, actually. Now Viper's prepped some archers, though. He knew the spearmen were around. So the archers are going to shoot these spearmen. And it could be Viper losing the dock still. But, uh, you know, the villager not going to have anything to say about there. This is a really good game. You've got some walling here from Nilly. He's palisading. 
Uh, Viper did that over here earlier. And again, I, I'm just going to focus on who gets to the next age. Because Viper's resources are looking juicy, man. Real good. Plus, nilly has he's gone for mainly defensive options. Let's see. Okay, Nilly. Oh, this is a big mistake from Nilly. Oh, God. He still doesn't even have the first tier of the House of Wisdom. And Viper, he's halfway to the second tier. So he's been gathering resources 10% faster. And with that, he's actually researching the military wing now. So he's going to be in Castle Age. What about Nilly? Nilly is as well. Okay, Nilly is as well. Uh, we got some woo 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 vipers traders. Oh, this is a different thing in AWE four. So all units except for I think the scout get attacked by wolves. The viper's getting woo woo wooed by a wolf, and he's trying to trade with this little neutral market. Illy could do the same. Is there one over here for him? Yeah, there is. Okay, that's that's a very important. It's called a trade post. Excuse me. That's a very important aspect of AWE four. You can trade in one v ones. And, okay, Viper saves his trade. Not bad. All right. The Viper now... I mean, the thing is, it's just it's just a snowball effect, right? So he's got he's got extra TCs now, so he's going to start booming out with lots of Vils. And the more efficient his eco is, the more he's going to be able to afford, the more he's going to be able to advance up through the ages. Here he is attacking Nili. Oh, Nili's building the gate! And the Palisade gate isn't finished. So the foundation's going to be battered down, and Nilly has fallen back. He is in Castle Age. He's got an outpost. I have to say, Nilly's base looks a lot cooler than Viper's. Maybe it's just the, the the fact that you've got this hill here. But Nilly definitely wins the coolness award. But, I mean, he's got so much stuff that's exposed back here, man. I think he's just going to get overwhelmed at this point. 69 population, nice. Remember, a lot of that's on water, though. He's got so much, much of his pop on water. I really hate how the elevation, like, goes up as I go over that. Like, that's that's weird. But I guess I understand. I wish I could just scroll a little bit more. And uh, got to go to Viper's point of view to select things properly here. And looks like the outpost and the spearman did okay there. But what is this unit? We've got a Lancer. Okay. Lancer. Not bad. I'm going to try and lance up these archers. And I feel like the Lancer should be pretty good against archers. Trying to look at their armor here. So they got four melee armor and four ranged armor. And the archers do eight attack. So with 230 HP, that's actually not bad. And granted, I'm sure you can get more upgrades on them as well. Like, I think Viper's units being so low HP against a Lancer that does 24 damage is going to be problematic for his archers. I, I have personally found archers to be one of the weakest things in the game so far. From, from what I've seen, you guys are going to see the Bronze Boy video at some point. Don't laugh at that, please. But, like, in, in terms of my gameplay and also from what I've seen with uh, with casting. Now, I guess you can make different archers, too. Like, it's a veteran archer now. So, it's been... Oh, that's what it was before. But now he's got crossbow. And these things do 13 attacks. So that's a little different. You see how Viper's almost always in the lead in all these resources, though? Constantly gain, gaining resources. And then getting rid of resources. That's how RTS games should work. By the way, I said Viper walled this earlier. That was a Nilly wall. I'm not sure what I, what I was talking about. Pretty good game right now, guys. I'm actually so jealous that they're able to play this so freely right now because I, I haven't got the pa this past the stage of having to relearn all my hotkeys. I'm going to talk about it until they make it customizable, man. <laughs> like, if I could just literally just load up all the hotkeys I've used my whole life. I think I could maybe get to a point where I'm enjoying the strats a little bit more. But casting's been chill. Casting's been fun. Nice to see some of the people here right now on the stream. Viper's almost at tier 2. He's at 28 out of 30. So he'll have villager gathering rate plus 15%. Now here's a question for you guys. Is it plus 15% on top of the plus 10%? Or is it going from 10% to 15%? Do you know what I mean? That That is... Uh, maybe that doesn't make sense. But that I'm actually not sure on. And nearly... He's got, okay, 10 out of 30. So, Nilly, he is adding extra TCs, but he's just way off in terms of the efficiency. Rotate the map. Yeah, I can't. How do I? Yeah, I can rotate the map a little bit. Personally, I'm not as big a fan of that. I like that it's an option, but I don't like to do it too frequently because it kind of ruins my, my knowledge of where things are when I need to snap to them quickly. 
I think it's 10% to 15% as well. But, uh, okay. I don't, I, like, stacking would be super OP. Nilly's gonna get into the trade, guys. Nilly's gonna get into the trade. Uh, T90, what's your, what's your biggest complaint about AB4 right now? Uh, lack of spectating features. And, but I'm used to, I'm used to that, I guess, with AB2 at the start. Uh, lack of spectating features and lack of customizable hotkeys. Which, I guess, in the grand scheme of things, aren't the biggest issues that could ever be present in a game. I think a lot of other stuff is just gonna get, take getting used to. And this is a great raid for Nilly. And, and Viper's army being slow is the problem right now. Good job from Nilly. As his population climbing to 90. Viper at 114, though. Viper is ultimately going to deal with this, I believe. But, you know, the raid's certainly going to harass a little bit. You've got these crossbows here from Viper. I think, like, recognizing what buildings are and units are, that's been something people have said to me, but I think that just takes time. Like, when Age of Empires 2 Definitive Edition came out, I didn't recognize crap. And now I know it all, So and they didn't really make any changes, so... When stuff is new, it's natural that it's going to take some getting used to. My issue is, is that playing the game feels more like a chore than fun if I have to relearn every single hotkey. And if they, they've they already announced tournaments, I, I it's surprising to me that they... Uh, like, here's another factor, right? They, they've announced tournaments, and they've given some of the player base access early. So, like, a lot of people that have to relearn hockey, like, that's a long time where you have to relearn your hockey. So, if you're thinking, like, competitive advantages, Nilly Viper have a real big competitive advantage in tournaments they're hosting with a lot of money because everyone's got to learn the same hockeys right now. I wouldn't feel so strongly about that if people could just do what they wanted with that, right? Anyways, Lancer gets shot down. I really like what Nilly was able to do there in terms of control for himself, though. And he dropped a castle at home now. Okay, so update. Viper at 134 pop. Nilly 98 pop. I believe the population ch changes to orange when you... Uh, it changes to orange when you're close to getting pop capped. That's something that happens for the player. I guess it helps me as the caster here as well. Mosk is over here for Nilly. What's the Mosk do again? Okay, so he set the gather point. Where's the gather point going? Is it to the sacred site? Yes, okay, so if you control the sacred site, you do get resources. And if you control both sacred sites, like Viper just got one. If you control both of... Oh, no, he's getting one, sorry. Um, Kind of like capture the flag, I guess. But if you control both of them for a certain period of time, you will win the game. So you do need to make sure that that does not happen. All right, here come Nilly really likes his Lancers, so he gets the kill, and that denies the Sacred Sight progress. Viper actually does not see that this keep is going up here for Nilly. So rip to the scout, it's going to go down. And, uh, you know, expected to see Nilly take that, and Viper's now an imp. Oh, what about Nilly? This could be the finishing blow for the German. He's got to be able to research things that he can't afford right now. Actually, he can afford it. He just doesn't... He's very close to having the gold. He might need to sell some of that food. And get up to Castle Age. Culture Wing or Trade Wing. The Viper's got some Siege. We've got some Mangonels. And we've got a Treb for Viper. The Viper is about to start making some pushes. And the crossbows seem to fire really quickly. The Lancer's now not going to have enough Pierce Armor. I think you're going to need some other form of Cav. Or Siege. A little sloppy from Viper. I feel like the arrows are very cartoonish. Would you guys agree? Like, the, the arrows are... The gra the graphics are very cartoonish. Like, someone said that it's... AoE 4 looks like a mobile game. And I think that's a little harsh. But with some of the things... Like, the Treb looks pretty cool. I'm down for the Treb. That's cool. But, um... But yeah, anyways, I guess my, my issue is more so, like, the, the arrows looks a little weird out of the towers and whatnot. AT90 in settings, you can turn on player score and it'll display when spectating. I'm honestly trying not to get used to that because that's an AOE2 thing. And if I've learned anything so far is that I'm too stuck in AOE2 mode. Winston, but nice to see you here, by the way. If there's a huge benefit for me, like, like if there's huge benefit and you feel like I should have it here, then maybe I'll keep it. Okay, so what I'm seeing is Viper now has elite crossbowman. So he now has 18 base attack. But I'm not really seeing, like, any... Like, let me go to the blacksmith. 
Where's the blacksmith? Again, my go-to blacksmith. Hockey. Okay. Here he's getting these. Increased melee armor of all nine non-siege units by plus one. Okay, so he is getting these techs. Increased ranged armor of all non-siege units by plus one. Okay. So what's different in AoE 4 to AoE 2, which takes some getting used to, is that... Let's see, let's see if I can explain this. So in AoE 2, your upgrades give your units certain things against the enemy. And in AoE 4, your... Um, Okay, I'm still I'm still struggling to be able to put this into words, even though I kind of know what I'm thinking. Like you're you're not gonna see the same stat changes. Uh, God, how do I? You know what? I'll just skip it. If you guys understand, you understand. If you're confused, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, I nearly definitely did overinvest into the water, but the big thing for him is that if you look at his House of Wisdom in this Civ matchup, like he's just about okay. Now he's in. The, uh, well, he's not even in tier two yet, excuse me. Whereas Viper, if you look at his House of Wisdom, he's close to tier three, which gives him even additional efficiency. So I think that's been the big difference here is Viper, like, Nilly was a little distracted on, on the water, and Viper invested into land a little bit more. <laughs> Thanks, T90. Very enlightening. Sorry, I, I promise. Like, sometimes I'll start saying something, and I think it's going to sound good, and. Oh, jeez. Okay, this makes sense. In 2, you get armor for specific units against all units. In 4, you get armor against specific units for all units. Yeah, that's kind, that's kind of where my brain was going. Okay, we've got the monk or the imam healing up here. The viper's got some culverines or bombard cannons. They're very strong, and viper making a lot of forward buildings here. You've got stables... So he's going to be going for... Kind of looks like he wants to go for Horseman because he's upgrading the Horseman. Horseman only costs food and wood, so it makes sense with those resources. And Nilly's castle's now down. And I, I just don't... I think Nilly's too far behind at this point. I, I don't think he played bad here. He's got a Bombard here. So let's see what the Bombard does against crossbows. Fire. Fire. Fire! Here it goes! Boom! Boom, baby! Big fight. Sorry I can't show the HP on everything. But Nilly clearly is outnumbered here. As you see the Treb taking out some buildings. But yeah, I think Nilly just... This is a desperation fight because he doesn't have enough right now. And he kind of feels he needs to take the fight. If he doesn't take the fight, he's dead. So you give it your best shot. You take the fight. You lose the fight. 130 pop. Viper 191. The Viper looking pretty good here in this game. You know what's interesting about this 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 game, and it could have had something to do with the map. But there was one single raid the entire game. Do you guys realize that? Whereas otherwise, uh, may maybe there was two technically. But it feels like it's it's definitely less about using mobility, and it's more about just like boosting economy and going for one push. Now, a lot of that could be map-oriented, because half the map is covered in water, and there's only one big area between them. But that's kind of that's kind of where um, where I stand on that. Now, Neely is still trying to make Lancers, and I don't know if that's really the go-to for him. Let me find his stables again. I mean, he's behind, right? I feel like you might need something... Probably camels won't work, but you probably need something else on a horse. Where is the Lancer, actually? Oh, yeah, there it is. I mean, I guess it doesn't help that Viper's got his own Lancers, right? So you're you're making Lancers. Viper's got his own Lancers, plus he's got some crossbows. Think like Knight Arbalest. And GG. Viper is victorious. And okay, so if I click sim cinematic mode, it allows me to stay in the game. No! Sorry, that was loud. I didn't mean to yell. I really wish I could stay in the game. I want to talk about stuff in there. I can't get back into the game. But but yeah, um, this was this was a good mirror matchup. We got to kind of understand the civilization a little bit more. Um, as far as I can see, like I think I have a good grasp on how to play this Civ. Now, units and what units to make, that's a little tricky. 
But having watched these two play it, you're prioritizing the House of Wisdom. You're expanding those wings. And, uh, you know, then you worry about the other stuff, um, like, like military. Obviously, they both added town centers, and that's kind of standard for Age of Empires 2. Um, and it's the same for 4 to get more villagers out there. But yeah, increase the efficiency, expand your eco, make military... His crossbow seemed really, really strong, thinking Nilly, I mean, he was behind, but probably needed to just have more numbers and maybe some siege mixed in. Just pause before it ends. I, I don't know how to solve that problem. <laughs> um, I'm going to have to figure that out at some point. Like, I like as well how I can literally, like, it has a report button after I cast some games. <laughs> like, okay. <laughs> um, yeah, the timeline shows the total unit count. Here it shows, like, the score, I guess, which is an indicator of all those things. But total unit count, Viper was just slightly ahead. Agnili like, did fine until he overcommitted a little bit more on water than he needed to. And then he wasn't focusing on the House of Wisdom. And Viper, the wise one, the snake, was able to snowball that to victory. Uh, you can see some of the other stats here, like the KD. Um, Viper took much more efficient trades with the fights. And economically, Viper with more food, more wood, more stone, more gold. He was just way ahead in that game. Also, Viper traded really early, too. He has a really good understanding on that. You can also see that the timings. And So I hope that this was an entertaining and informative cast for people who might be watching this, either on the stream right now or on YouTube later. Uh, I, I probably have to stop clarifying this, but I'm learning, too, okay? So I'm learning, too. I'm trying to figure things out. But I actually feel like some mental doors were unlocked some light bulbs went off in my head while casting this game so i think if i'm searching honestly for games to cast for the time being it would actually make a whole lot of sense to, to cast two people playing the same sieve for, for you know every once in a while because it kind of shows you the potential of the sieve in different ways um instead of trying to remember all these bonuses is that's going to take some time so that was pretty cool